What's up world? It's your boy Anubis and I'm bringing you guys something a little bit different, something brand new to my channel and that is some Max Payne 3. I picked up the game about a week or two ago and uh, this is some of the first multiplayer footage that I've gotten with it. Um, gosh, I love Max Payne 3 guys. I've really been enjoying it and uh, yeah, so this game guys, I'm rocking out the shotgun. We're playing on the Bronco headquarters which is a close combat map. Lots Lots of cubicles, uh, lots of areas to get cover. Um, as you can tell right here, I stay in cover too long. I, I'm, I'm, I'm new to the game. What can I say? Um, you got to move around on this map or else they're going to move around and get you. But that's just like any game. You can't stay stay still in one position, um, you know, because, you know, the enemy's going to be circling the map. And, you know, you got to circle the map with them and hopefully get behind them. So that's... That's what's up. But anyways, guys, I just want to talk a little bit about Max Payne 3, you know, say what's up to the world and just say that this game rocks. I mean, for one, let me talk a little bit about strategy in the multiplayer. Multiplayer is hard to, to just get into, first off, all right? It's a very hard game to start off with. Uh, main reason for it is because Max Payne 3 is a difficult game. It's not a simple game to play. Yes, it's easy to master if you know you put the time into it. It's not impossible, but Max Payne 3 is the kind of game where if you don't play the campaign and you jump straight into multiplayer, you're gonna get your butt kicked because you're gonna try and play it just like you know Call of Duty, and you're gonna try and run and gun, and uh, that's not gonna go here. It's not gonna fly. Uh, you're going to get your butt whooped. It just will not happen. Another thing that makes this game really hard to get into is the fact that you're a low level when you start off, and there's a lot of high levels. For me, personally, that was difficult. Uh, I mean, if you start at the beginning of the game, you know, it's not as bad because everybody's starting off at the same spot. But for me, personally, um, I've star I'm starting off, and everybody else is already a high rank. As you can tell, pretty much everybody I kill has body armor. Some of them even have helmets. And in this game that actually matters my guy my character he's just a default character he has no body armor nothing he has no defense whatsoever his only defense is his speed but there's a reason why um, I like that the reason why I'm running that um, and that reason is because um, I'm able to get around quick I'm able to get to cover quick and uh, being that I'm using a shotgun I need to be able to move around the map fast or else I'm just going to get pummeled by guys sitting behind cover like I just did right there. Um, I probably would have killed that guy if it was one on one. But unfortunately um, he got behind some cover and uh, there were some buddies involved. And I got down. But that's what happens. But anyways, um, this map is, uh, is, is really well constructed. I like the way they constructed this map. I'm not going to say all the maps that ma uh, came out with Max Payne 3 multiplayer are well constructed. Because they're not. Not all of them are the best. But this one's very good. And the reason for that is because it caters to all types of gameplay. I'm, I'm running the shotgun, all right? And it caters to my type of gameplay because I'm able to run and gun. There's a lot of close combat fighting, and I'm able to get up and close and personal and uh, take out my enemies with one to three bursts, um, which is all you need with the shotgun. But at the same time, as you can see, I'm in a cubicle area where people with, uh, you know, assault rifles and stuff like that, they can shoot you at those long-range fights. They can have those long-range combats. For instance, this guy right here, you know, he's using his uh, his grenades and his assault rifle, but, uh, of course, I've, I'm using the, the awesome dolphin dive that is bullet time in this game. Um, absolutely love it. it. It makes the game unique. It makes the game fun. Um, I use that to kill him. Um, and using things like that is very big, guys. That's why I'm telling you that if you haven't beaten the campaign, you you know you're not gonna know to use that dive to kill somebody. You know I I did that on purpose. I I knew he was throwing a grenade because I saw the red flash. Um, and I played, you know, two or three matches before this. I mean, this is about my fourth match of the of uh, ever playing this game. So, um, you know, I've played a couple matches, and I got killed by some grenades. So I know what the grenade looks like, and. Uh, I knew that if I stayed put, I'd be blown to bits. I had to move quick, and the fastest way to move was to dive, and I put a shotgun blast to the face. So that's a, you know that's how you do it, um, and that's a great way to do it. But I want to talk about my class a little bit. Yes, I'm running the shotgun, but uh, as I was saying before, I'm not running any body armor. I'm not running any helmet. Now that puts me at a severe disadvantage because when people shoot at me, um, it takes less bullets to kill. I'm a whole lot easier to kill. Um, you know, it it's 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 
I'm just I'm a, I'm a sitting duck basically. Um, but at the same time, I'm able to move around quick. I'm able to roll around quick. I have a lot of energy, and that's something that you uh, that you, uh, you you don't have. I have a lot of energy, and the the biggest thing is that I recover my from my wounds fast. So I get into a lot of close combat scrapes, and every time I get into a close combat scrape, I'm gonna get shot up a little bit. But sh shot sh not shut up, shot up, shot up a little bit. There's my one. Uh, one uh, mess up of, of verbal vernacular a day, um, but I'm gonna get I'm gonna get myself shot up a little bit every time I get into an engagement. But because I um, I'm not we wearing a lot of armor, um, the way the game is set up is that you I basically have high stamina. That means that I'm able to uh, recover quickly and get on to the next fight. And that is really important when you're moving around the map fast. You're trying to take out these guys because um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm moving around the map and I'm moving around in, in areas that I know. So as you can tell, I'm staying in the same areas for most of the map. Um, I avoid the cubicle areas as much as I can. When I do go through them, I go through them strategically. You're going to see that I roll a lot. You're going to see that I utilize cover. I don't just charge right through it all the time. You see charging like that, right when I just go for the kill, that's going to get me killed 9 times out of 10 because I'm out of cover, and every time you're out of cover, you're just a huge sitting target. Um, but I think right here is a good example of it. I use cover to get through this area, um, and well... This time I use a fake dive to get into the area, and I get lucky that uh, that I was able to get that guy, but ended up getting knocked by him. But pretty pretty soon there's going to be a situation where I utilize cover really well. Um, I'll be honest, when it came when it comes to this game, um, I I get better as the game goes on. Um, I get a lot of kills in this game, and I do very well. But I get better as the game goes on because this is my first time playing the map. I'll be honest with you guys. First time playing the map. So I didn't know it at the beginning. I made some noob mistakes. I ran out into the open. You know, I got myself killed. And, uh, you know, it's stuff like that. But at the same time, I've learned a lot from my mistakes. I learned from playing. I learned from doing it. As you can see right here, this is what I'm talking about. I'm rolling around. People don't utilize the roll function as often as they should. I, I barely see people rolling. Everybody's always just running. Running around and gunning with their, you know, their AK-47s out, and uh, you know that's that that's one tactic to approach the game. But uh, you, I, I, what I'm doing is sprinting around, and I roll around, I utilize cover, and uh, you know that's just my my tactic for the game. But that's enough for me talking about my tactics for the game. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the game itself. I want to give you guys my review on it. Now, uh, I love this game. I, I, if I was to be stranded on a deserted island and I can only pick two games, it would be Skyrim and it would be Max Payne 3. And the reason for that is we all know Skyrim's a great game with an unlimited play replayability and it's never the same every time you play it. But it, this game itself um, is, even though it's a shorter campaign, uh, you know, this is the first time that that hasn't bothered me. The short shortness of the campaign does not diminish the fun of this game whatsoever. Um, all it does is it makes it, uh, you know, it's it's addicting. This game is addicting. I really like the the whole badass Max Payne persona that you get to play as because uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, Duke Nukem. Now I'm a big fan of Max Payne after getting into this series. Um, I really like the badass kind of uh, kind of player, and if you like that kind of game mode, you're gonna enjoy this game. I also like the fact that you're set up as a bodyguard. You're a personal bodyguard uh, for some some shady people. I'm not gonna get into the campaign much, but I like that. I like that backstory. I really enjoy it. It makes it interesting. It makes it fun. It makes it so you can go out. You're out there. You're killing people, and uh, you're doing it for a reason. Right here, this is what I was talking about earlier. I'm utilizing the cubicles to my best advantage now this guy as you can tell I get him from a long-range shotgun blast so the shotgun in this game it's it's not just limited to close combat you can get people at range too it takes more shots but you can get people at range if you aim for the head and they're already weak you can knock them out uh, easy going but uh, back to what I was saying with the campaign, there's a lot of replayability with this game. Reason for it is because you're going to want to go back through this game and get the golden guns. You're going to want to go back through this game, play it at a harder difficulty. You're going to want to go back through this game and uh, play it on the different types of game modes. They have game modes where you can run around and you have a minute to complete the game. And, uh, you know, that's a lot of fun because it changes the whole perspective of how you play it. Uh, they also have game modes where you get score for how well you do. So... 
Um, you know, you get score for headshots and, and uh, all that fun stuff, and it's a score attack mode, and that's a lot of fun, you know. So the, the way they, they adapted this game to be able to be played in multiple ways is a lot of fun, and uh, the game's coming to a close right here, and I get the best final kill I think I've ever gotten. Wait for, oh, yep, diving for the win, getting that guy for the final kill. Wait for it. I won, I won, but, oh, look at that. Who's the top player in the lobby? Yo, boy, Anubis with the shotgun. Yep, that's right. I won. I was the top of the lobby. I was pretty proud of that. First time doing that. Uh, it's pretty hard to get into this game. I'm not going to lie. Multiplayer, it's hard to get into it. But once you once you, once you you play through the campaign, if you play through it on some of the harder difficulties and you you learn that cover is key um, and, and rolling around and getting to cover is key and staying in cover is key, <laughs> just basically just being in cover is key. Um, um, once you get that down, you're going to have a good time with this game. I think everybody would enjoy it. And if you guys want to see me play more Max Payne in the future, uh, just leave a comment. Like this video. Favorite. You know, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'd love to do some more Max Payne for you guys. Uh, the score attack mode is one of my favorite modes. I'd love to post some of my high scores for that. So if you guys want to see more, leave me that comment. Please like the video. It really helps me out. And I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy, Nubis. I'm out of here. Peace.